Hello, welcome to the Selfish Knitter channel. My name is Colleen and this is officially day one of Vlogmas. Today is Thursday, December 1st. It is later in the morning than I thought I would be filming this. My lighting wasn't very great earlier. Um, it looked like I was getting ready to tell you a horror story. So I'm giving this another try. I've already had my coffee. I have been working this morning and I am getting ready to go to an appointment. So I am packing up some things to take with me. I am expecting to be spending some time sitting in a waiting room. So I've got some knitting, I've got a book. I decided that I'm gonna bring my Kindle today. I have a very old Kindle. This is, I think it's nine, nine years old. I don't think it's quite 10 years old, but I originally bought this for my son. And when he decided he wasn't gonna use it, I decided to replace my aging Kindle with this one. So it's got the nice magnetic cover, which I love. And it's, it's very small. Um, I primarily borrow books from the library using the Libby app on this. And right now I'm reading a book that I am honestly struggling to get into. It is called Anatomy, A Love Story. It was a new release this year. And without giving too much of the plot away, it's, it's about dissecting bodies and um, resurrection men, which sounded to me like a sci-fi thing. It's not, it's um, people who dig up bodies in graveyards for the purpose of dissecting them is basically what's happening. So that, that is um, partly why I'm having a hard time getting into this book. It's, it's a little disturbing. I tried reading it before bed last night and I just, I was done. So that is what I'm bringing with me today to go sit in a waiting room. So that, that's a great, that's a great subject matter, I suppose. Um, I'm also bringing my Comfort Fade cardigan with me. I was going to bring my Advent knitting but I actually need the needles that I have on the sleeves for my cardigan or the needle that I'm using to do a small um, swatch in order to start the advent. So my Comfort Fade Cardi, I am using yarn from Black Cat Fibers and I just had to pick up another skein. This is Murder on Monday. It's, it's a blend of tealy blues and greens and kind of a rusty, rusty color. There's some like yellow and browns in here. And this color, I think it would just be absolutely gorgeous in a sweater all by itself. But this is kind of the, the middle color in my fade of my cardigan and I ran out of it. So I'm working on sleeves right now and it's more of a gray color um, that I'm going to need to switch out to that murder on Monday. I have my cardigan all packed up in this large zipper bag from Stolen Minutes. Really, really nice sturdy bag. The whole sweater is shoved in here and since I have it packed up, I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out right now, but I will just quickly show you that the colors I'm using right now are a lot more gray. And I have stitch stoppers on both sleeves. This is one sleeve. I've got pink skulls. And I, I probably have most of the upper arms done on both sleeves. I have them both on these little needles. Where's the other one? The other one I have F-bomb stitchers. I also got these, um, both sets of stitch stoppers I got from Woolen Vinyl. They're silicone. They were probably made in China, um, but I really liked the F-bombs and the pink skulls. So I picked those up earlier this year. So I've got this ready to go. <laughs> I also have a swatch that I'm working on for a Ravello sweater, which is a striped top-down pullover from Isabel Kramer. My swatch, this is the first time that I've done it this way. So when you swatch in the round, normally you end up with a lot of um, long yarn running behind the swatch. And I don't like that. I don't like swatching at all, but I especially don't like having all the nasty ends. So what I decided to use is you, you do what I decided to do was use my Chowgu shorty set that's fairly new and I'm doing a little swatch in the round. So I've got a little garter stitch section on the edge. Um, so at the end and the beginning, I'm doing this little garter section and then there's just kind of a little thread connecting them that I'm hoping I will just be able to snip that and then lay this swatch flat. And with any luck, it's gonna be about an eight inch square if I'm honest, 
I'm probably gonna get tired of knitting this before it gets to be eight inches long, but I think as long as it is eight or nine inches wide and maybe four or five inches tall, it'll be enough for me to wash it and see how it's coming out. I really wanted to make sure to swatch this one because the pattern is written for fingering weight yarn. I chose a sport weight yarn. I think I'm gonna be able to get gauge um, on these needles, but I do also need these needles to knit my DK advent set from Knitty McPurley. So that's what I've got going on today. Um, I'm wearing hard pants, real clothes, put on a nice pair of underwear because I will be doing a, a fair amount of driving today and you got to have good underwear on in case something happens, right? Um, so that that's my excitement for today. Worked this morning, um, don't really have a lot planned for this evening, so I think I will probably be taking some time to work on getting my Knitting McPurley advent started, um, especially if I can free up a small circular needle from that swatch. Otherwise, I think I'll be falling behind pretty quickly. I found size four needles that I can use. I have some Clover double points that are size four and they're five inch double points, a set of five. I think I'm gonna use those as a last resort only. I think they're gonna be kind of fiddly to work with. I also found a 24 inch circular needle in a size four. I, I have a couple sets of um, fixed 16 inch size four circulars, but I don't think that that is what I want to do for this. So yeah, need to free up some needles. The funny thing is, I don't actually have that many whips going right now. I have a couple pairs of socks that are hibernating. I have a hat that is hibernating. I have my Comfort Fade Cardi and I have this swatch. It's not like I have, you know, a hundred whips sitting around with needles stuck in them. It just so happens that I guess I'm using a lot of size fours and fives right now. So that's what I've got going on. I will check in with you later. So I am back from my appointment, which was actually my daughter's appointment, and she gave me permission to talk about it. She was having surgery on her eye. She was diagnosed with keratoconus earlier this year, which is where your cornea thins and your eyeball takes more of a cone shape to it. It was affecting her vision. She really couldn't see very well out of her right eye. Um, so they did laser surgery to correct the shape of her eye. And I was expecting that I would be sitting in a waiting room having a lot of knitting and reading time while she was in surgery. That turned out not to be the case. One, it was faster than I thought it was going to be. We were in and out of there in an hour. And two, I went to get myself some lunch. And when I came back, they opened a shade that was over the window in the waiting room looking right into the room where she was having surgery. So really couldn't sit and knit when I had the choice to actually watch my daughter's giant eyeball on a screen in the, in the surgery room and see what they were doing. It, it was a little bit gross at, at one point, um, but for the most part, it was pretty cool. And other people that were in the waiting room waiting to have surgery came over and looked. So I'm sure she's absolutely thrilled that all kinds of strangers were looking at her eyeball. Although with me as her mother, she's probably been embarrassed enough in her whole life that having a bunch of strangers in a waiting room look at her through a window was probably very, very mild. I did not get a lot of knitting done while I was there, but I did manage to finish my swatch so this is what I ended up with. Um, I have not cut it apart yet, but this blue, it's like a navy blue. It's called Dissident, and it is from Baby Cat Yarns Grunge Collection. Um, she has a lot of really great dark colors, and I was super excited. So this is going to be kind of a Pearl Jam themed sweater. I've got the Dissident blue. There's a socks on concrete. Um, gray that's going to be in the stripes and then I have stone gossard which is kind of a, a deep whiny purple color so that's what my Ravello is going to be um, so I just need to cut this and then measure it soak it 
let it dry, measure it again, and then I will in theory be ready to cast this on, even though I can't really because I still don't have all the needles free that I need in order to do that. But I'm hoping that the gauge will come out about right. So the Chowgu shorty set that I was talking about before, I think if you're watching this podcast, you've probably watched some other knitting podcasts and you've seen these already, but it's a little set of shorties that come in a, a little pou a zipper pouch and it has short little blue cords. Um, the set that I got is the small one. Um, it has sizes four through eight in it. There's two short tips, two long tips for each size, and then there's three um, there's three lengths of cable. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm using two on the sleeves. So there's five, six, and eight inch cables that come in this set and I now have one of them free so I'll be able to cast on my Denny McPearly Advent. I think based on my lighting issues that I'm having, this is all I'm going to record for today. So I will check in with you tomorrow and show you my progress and open another Denny McPearly Advent. Thank you for coming back to watch me talk to my phone. If you liked what you saw, I hope you will come back tomorrow. Bye.